Hi there and welcome to G13 The Showdown right here at Manara Star in our studio. I'm Ann Edwards. Now some say Pakatan is in for a tough fight in Selangor. Some even say that they may lose to Barisan National. Among the reasons is uh, because of the ongoing water crisis and also Talam's debt recovery scheme undertaken by the opposition Pakatan Rajat since 2010. But despite all this barrage of criticism that Pakatan puts politics before the interest of the Rakyat, the coalition is confident that they will retain Selangor right here beside me to give us more and also an insight into this is Wabidato Teng Chang Kim, who is Selangor State Legislative Speaker, also uh, the State Assemblyman for N44 Sungai Pinang. Welcome, YB. Thank you for inviting me. What's your take on this? BN has declared its intention yeah, to respect the state from uh, Pakatan Rakyat. How is Pakatan Rakyat uh, facing this challenge? Uh, well, it is not unusual for Barisan National to boast about themselves. They did it, uh, for instance, in 2008. They were talking about zero oppositions. But in the end, uh, everyone, that is history that you know, they lost actually quite badly for the first time after 50 years of governance in Selangor. So we are not so worried about that because uh, we have a good threat record for five years. We have a good report card and uh, also we have actually conducted a survey uh, to see our performance to monitor ourselves from time to time, very regular. So based How regular is this survey? Well, uh, three months, every three months we will survey mm -hmm. and we improve uh, ourselves if we, we are advised that there are some weaknesses in our administrations and therefore actually we uh, actually keep a very close eye on ourselves and beside that we believe that we have done sufficient reform to convince the people that this is a government that they can trust and give us a mandate for the next five years. What does the most recent survey tell us? Well, a uh, recent survey shows that uh, we are actually uh, maintaining the support that we had in 2008 and that shows that uh, uh, we have actually room to further improve mm. and there's a reason why we are not talking about retaining power in Selangor any further we are talking about uh, we are raising the bar we are talking about uh, winning two-thirds majority of the assembly seat. Barisan National has stated that they are confident mm. of uh, resting back the state from Pakistan Rakyat based on a scheme which is uh, winning at least 32 out of the 56 state mm -hmm. seats and this is an increase of 12 seats mm -hmm. for AMNO. Mm -hmm. What's your take on this? I do not know where are the seats uh, they are talking about uh, because we have done... Coastal uh, areas? Coastal areas, uh, actually most of the coastal area seats uh, belong to them. Mm. So we just have to improve to win another 5% of the votes then we will be able to win all the seats. And in the worst case scenario, if they uh, won uh, or maintain the present seats, it doesn't affect us as far as retaining uh, the power of slang is concerned. Mm -hmm. So we are not too worried because I do not think that they have conducted scientific survey and uh, we have track record, we have five years record to compare with their 50 years of record. Mm -hmm. uh, so we are very confident based on our performance and also on the scientific survey. Just a win or two-thirds? Uh, we are talking about, we are raising the bar. We are talking about two-thirds now. Two-thirds yes. majority. You need 38 seats at least. Yes. Exactly. Where are you getting these uh, additional seats? Oh, well, there are some seats. Uh, we, we know that there are those seats that we have won uh, with a very slim majority. And that is all in the coastal, most of them are in the coastal area. Mm -hmm. Some of the votes, uh, some of the areas actually we have uh, lost by only uh, two, within 250 votes. So these areas we have been working very, very hard. And we have a series of the welfare program to take care of the low income group. Uh, majority of them come from this uh, rural area. Mm -hmm. uh, and even for the urban area, our program, our welfare program also cover uh, those underprivileged. Uh, so we are confident that these are the votes that uh, can help us to win two thirds majority. Mm -hmm. We'll take a short break, we'll come back and find out more about some of the thorny issues that's faced by Pakatan Rakyat in the state of Selangor. Stay with us right here on G13, The Showdown.
And thanks for staying with us right here on G13, The Showdown. We have been talking to YB Datu Teng Chang Kim, who is Selangor State Legislative Speaker, also State Assemblyman for N44 Sungai Pinang. Uh, is that your lucky number? Uh, it has not been until recently. Oh, yes. Because it's 4 4 in. 4 4, and we because know how I Chinese found that, uh, superstition is. Yes, yes. Obama, uh, he is the 44th. Uh, President of the United States, so I think that is a lucky number. So only for the past week, perhaps you. Uh, yes, I just like discovered. Those numbers. It. Okay, great. Back to what we have been discussing about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Barisa National has their own manifesto, separate manifesto for Selangor. What about Pakatan? Not yet. Well, I haven't seen the Barisa National manifesto for the state, mm. but uh, I'm, we are in the process of producing our own. In fact, we are supposed to release our state manifesto before the PR National released theirs. But because uh, which is we, when? Uh, that was uh, two weeks ago, mm. and but because we do want to, we want to avoid overlapping in certain area, mm. and therefore we we hold it, and we are in the process of fine tuning it. What are some of the areas that you will be covering in your manifesto? We what are some of the pledges mm. that you will be making to the people? We will further improve our welfare program, mm. and we also uh, instill a bit uh, with uh, programs uh, to train the uh, school leavers. So we are uh, the the whole concept is. We are not going to give fish to the people. We mm. are going to teach them how to fish mm. so that they can fish for their lifetime. Mm -hmm. This is a whole concept. So a welfare program, this will be an improvement to our existing welfare program. When can we expect to see the manifesto? Well, we hope that we can get it done uh, before the dissolutions of the assembly. Right. Okay, another issue or um, subject yeah, that has actually propped up is that uh, the fact that Malays um, in Selangor are under siege because of Pakatan Rakyat's multi-ethnic composition and also policy stand. Mm -hmm. Now, how has Pakatan Rakyat responded to this? Yeah. Uh, our program is not race-based. Mm. We, and we have seen that uh, because of the race-based uh, program that introduced by Barista National, it has caused a lot of injustices. So we have uh, actually embarked on the different footing. And we have actually shown that, that it works in Selangor. So all those underprivileged, all those who need our help, they get the assistance, rather than race-based, which is uh, grossly unjust. Mm -hmm. And by the nation, of course, they accuse, accuse the, uh, especially PKR, is under siege for the, uh, this program without you know having a specific one for a certain race. That's right. But Actually, they are actually contradicting themselves. They mm. are talking about one Malaysia. Mm. What is one Malaysia if they are talking about these race-based policies? Mm -hmm. uh, so we are not worried about that because people do feel how our program has benefited them. Okay, back to these two main thorny issues, the water crisis and mm. also uh, Talam's debt recovery scheme, which has been undertaken since 2010 mm -hmm. uh, and has been criticised widely. What mm. is your response? Well, there's no water crisis in Slango. No water crisis? Yes, we have sufficient water. We read it in the papers, it's online, it's in the internet uh, all the time. Yes, that is created by Barasa National. We do not have a water shortage problem. We do not have a, a problem of shortage of treated water. The problem is we have a problem of the existing concessionaire do not how to manage it. Mm. So we, are, we want to buy over. Uh, when we give free water five years ago, they said uh, it will make Selangor bankrupt. But after five years, not only that, we still can continue to give free water, we have managed to increase our reserve. That show we know how to manage. So we are now saying that now let us manage. So and we are offering them a very good price. Mm. We raised from five billion to now nine point uh, five seven uh, million to buy over. So this is a, a good offer. They should have just take the money if they are really doing business. Take the money and laugh all the ways. But why? It sounds like a crisis to me. Well, there's no crisis. You still have your water supply every day. There's no problem. The only problem that we had is for perhaps a few weeks ago in Wang Sumatu. And that was because five pumps, five pumps in the same place, at the same treatment plant, all broke down at the same time. Mm -hmm. That shows how poor the pump was maintained by the private company. Mm -hmm. And that is a good reason for us to yeah, say... Yeah, because we get we all kinds of complaints, um, like the water pressure is very low. Water pressure is not water crisis. Mm. There's water pressure crisis. Mm. That is a different matter. <laughs> you know, it, it's not the shortage of uh, treated water. No, we have sufficient water. We have more water than we than we need. We have floods everywhere. So there's no water crisis. Okay, and Talam? In Talam, in fact, Talam's debt. We are in the process of getting back all the money. 
And if you are in a corporate for bad debt, if you collect, uh, let's say you can recover 20% of bad debt, your boss will be happy. Hmm. If you recover 50% of the bad debt, so how the, many boss, percent are? the boss will give you all the bonus. How many percent? Are? We are in the process of getting 100% back. Hmm. Because in the agreement... What's the progress so far? Very good. Because we get some, some land back and there's a guarantee in the agreement. In the event, those land that has been returned to the state government and upon uh, uh, disposal, it doesn't cover the full sum, then they have still to top up. Right. So we are, we are very sure. And mind you, this is not an easy process to get uh, a corporate to admit that they owe us 392 million. How has it been for the past five years? Just very quickly tell us before we wrap up. Let's well, show. it has been a wonderful year, five years for us, because we managed to prove within five years we have done better than a government that has governed for 50 years. That is impressive. Thank you so much, YB Datuk Teng Chang Kim, who is Selangor State Legislative Speaker. And uh, we've been talking to him on Pakatan Rakyat in Selangor. I'm Anne Edwards. Thank you so much for joining us on our show. Bye-bye.